Okay, is this it? Oh, I think this is it. Ah! Oh my god, it totally is it! Okay, he's a big dude. He's a big dude, for one. He's not too fast. Let's let's hit him with the poison. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Every Virus. I'm your host, the bird man, Otis Falcon. We're back with a little bit more here. And I've also done a little bit of off-camera work. Went out and gathered some goods, as I mentioned that I would, because people were like, Falcon, you're gonna need them supplies eventually, boy. Let's get on out of here. We're going to the petrol station. My house is just ahead. Come with me. If you want to live. Alright. Oh, there they are. I see them. Come on. They locked the door, but I have lo I have a lock and gun. Oh, I actually need one of those for um, back in the shelter. There's a door that needs requires a lock and gun, I think. Neil, this is a key to the bedroom on second floor. Take it. The key card is in the room. Okay. Cool. Are you still waiting for me here? Yes, I'll only hold you back if I go with you. Oh, you're a smart man. You don't want to get involved with the bandits, huh? The bandits upstairs have weapons and they are dangerous. Have you equipped any armor? I have. I have all of them. Now, my question is... These guys, we could probably... Apparently it's not sne Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Well, that's not too bad. You guys actually have the same attack pattern as Zambros! Ho ho! And by the way, that doesn't look like hair, it looks like that's your brain. Like, you're a very smart dude. You you got a dagger debris from this, or at least I got a dagger. It's a key item. By the way, that guy, that doesn't look like hair, it looks like his brain's popping out of his dome. See, these guys aren't regular bandits. They got guys with, like, brain hair, and then they got that giant butcher over there. This guy's trying to convince me they're humans. Yeah. Get out of here, okay? You crazy. All right, my boy. We got to lure. Oh, no! No! Lure, oh, it brought everybody together. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. That, that's good, actually. No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, I had you how I wanted it to go down! Oh, you ding-dong! That's fine. You know what? Bandit boss, he goes down with two full swings. Now, all I need to do is get this bandit to get off of my dome piece. As a matter of fact, forget that. Let's just snipe him in the dome right now. Get him like this. He shot, he missed. He'll come over here. We'll do that. We'll do that. You take your pot shots. Don't worry, my boy. Oh, look at that. Look who's scared. Oh, up, 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 okay. We're gonna fight it out. You see, the problem here, my dude, is that you have to eventually run back. I don't have. So eventually, your, your AI trips out and you're like, oh, I must run back. And that is your downfall. <laughs> oh, we got a crossbow off of him, too. And the toxic wooden arrows. Yo, was homeboy hitting me with toxic arrows? What a scumbag if he was. Let's get some food in us so we get that regenerative ability here. Try to save our agentia for the big boy. Okay, that wasn't really a bad fight whatsoever. It's only the fact that there's like two of them coming at you, but otherwise, it's fairly easy to go one-on-one -on -one with them. The range thing is a little bit annoying, sure, but it's not too bad. Um, I mean, of course, I'm pretty sure the Butcher will be completely different than that, but... At least thus far, I'm not worried too much. And the armor that we crafted, it's um, really negating a lot of the damage, so that's gonna be upstairs. As I mentioned, one-on-ones with these boys ain't even a problem. This is not a problem. You're like fighting a zombie. You're like fighting a zombie. We do 48 per attack, huh? Alright. Dagger debris. I imagine we collect a bunch of those and we eventually make our own dagger too. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not really cra I'm not a big fan of daggers in zombie games. Oh, cool. We actually did need this to unlock the door back, uh... In the shelters that I mentioned. The only problem now is that, yeah, we only got room for two more items afterwards. Let's pop this door. Any boys here? No. Alrighty. Well, eventually, probably have to just go home and dump some stuff off. I mean, I could do that now, too. Just collect it and go back home. There is this feature over here. You guys tell me, Falcon, just click on go home instead of, like, going all the way to the exit. Thank you. I was not aware it was that simple, even though it says really big over there, go home. I tend to miss the obvious sometimes, as some of you might have noticed. Hey, right, come out of here. Just come out of here. I am scared of you. I'm over here trying to like sneak around like I'm Sam Fisher. When this boy's just gonna get wrecked from the crab stick. 
is gonna get wrecked from the crap stick. You don't even understand. Get your ass now. Dagger debris. Alright. Alright, so we're back. Now that we also, or at least now that I kind of feel comfortable around the regular, at least the regular small mobs, I brought less things with me. So less food, less some HP. So we can at least pick this stuff up as well. Nope, it's not gonna be safe. Oh, more bandit bosses. Well, how many bandit bosses do you guys have? Oh, you see, we, we operate under a, a strict jurisdiction where we have multiple levels of seniority, you see, so we need more than one bandit boss. That kind of removes the entire point of being called boss now, doesn't it? Oh, I see what you're doing. Hey, you, you, you want to mob me a three-on-one? Your boy is smarter. Your boy's going to use the stairs right next to him and run on down. As I mentioned, I don't have any honor. Come on, bandit boss. Do that. That's fine. I'll take those hits. I'll take them. No, not 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 that way. Now. You come. You come to me. Come around. What? Well, what is a? What is a? Bu bu bu. Are you trying to say pew pew pew? Ah, I'm gonna have stamina. Oh, you jerk! You picked the opportune time. So this crab stick. Uh, we can also fix this crab stick. I don't have to let it break, I'm pretty sure, right? It is repairable. How much does it cost? Eight timber? Oh yeah, we got that. So instead of letting it break, we use it to repair it. That should be where the key's at. Have we taken care of all the scumbags? We got... a dude tied up over here, too. Is he even alive? Huh. I mean, I can't pick up any more loot. That's the only problem here. Uh, Q metal. I got no room for you. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this here. You see this increase the upper limit of bag? This apparently costs 99 cents, and it'll increase your bag from 10 to 20 if I'm correct. I got like a $5 gift card from Play Store on Black Friday. I bought something to do through Google Pay or whatever, and they were like, hey, here's a $5 gift card. And I was like, oh, I don't really shop on Google Play, but sure, thanks a lot. You know what? I think I'm gonna get that for 99 cents. There it is. Look at that. Oh, you gave me 20 more. Oh, so from 10 to 30, I thought you were giving me only 10 more, so 20. I was like, yeah, 30 is even better. I mean, 99 cents for this? That's great. Sure, why not? It just beats the hell out of like having to run back home and dump stuff off. It's really annoying when I'm recording because I have to cut all that stuff off during um, post-editing because you don't see me run back and mess around with inventory stuff. You guys want to see action, progress. This is how we're doing it. Oh, Falcon, you pay to win now. Oh, whoa. Oh. It's not pay to win. You know what pay to win would be? Like if I got like, you know, HP or armor. I mean, if the developers want to send me armor for free, that's a different... No, no, it's fine. Keep your armor, devs. I'm just messing around. Your boy plays it straight for the most part. All right, let's pop this one over here. This door has to be open from the other side. Huh. I can inspect that shirt as well. All right. Well, we know we have to get through here. Um. So unlock this with the key. I'm a little bit weirded out about that dude being tied up over here. Like, do you think that's d that was done by the bandits too? What if it was K? What if K is like a big pervert? Like, you know, the bandits are bad guys, sure. But K was like some sort of like, you know, weird pervert before the apocalypse happened and he took over his house. I got a camera here. What's the camera for? Just trade value? 500? Cool. So we got to go all the way around through there to get to there. Okay. Yeah, this is, um, you know what? I'm already loving this backpack thing. I just, I could just loot without having to worry about like, oh, I only can carry 10 things. This should be Kay's bedroom. But these clothes size fit a fatty. <laughs> that's, that's rude. <laughs> Why you gotta be so insensitive, my dude? These clothes fit a fatty. It's locked. It could be open with a key card. Hey, I mean, I got too tangled up with the idea of this guy being such a jerk, but what if I was right about the, the, the this dude? What if, this, what if K really is a scumbag? I mean, why would this dude here, why would his clothes be here in K's quote-unquote house? You know, something ain't adding up here, boys. Gotta watch. Something just ain't adding up. Can we open this from here? Thank you. Sure, cut that up. Weird. Why did Kay open that gate with a locked gun? He has the key, actually. 
What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I, this is something fishy going on here, man. There is no sign of life. The deceased is full figured. Did those clothes in the bedroom have anything to do with him? Oh, now you're calling him a full figure. Well, apparently he went back on being a, a jerk. Turned the body over. Pale red liver mortises fade with pressure from the looks of things. I'd estimate the time of death was within. Look, dog. What, am I a mortician now suddenly or what? Three days? That can't be right. Twelve hours. Well, then if you know, why are you asking me? I, I don't know this type of stuff, man. Bruises and scars found on the body, and there are no signs of a struggle. But none of these are lethal causes. His mouth was taped and his hands were tied behind his back. The state of his blood vessels tell that he was tied up before death. Hmm. Why is his skin so dry? And there is no sign of urinal discharge. He must have been dehydrated before death. So... He was bound and left here to die of dehydration? Sure. Why are you getting so creepy now? The keycard! K? So he's the real K. Oh no! I told you guys! It was all a ruse. Did that say after 15 minutes I woke up from a coma? Alright, you know what? I like this a lot already, just cause like I wasn't expecting this. Like a lot of these like mobile zombie post-apocalyptic games, they don't really go into stories, right? It's just kinda like, you know, they put you out there, you go out and you farm for wood and stone and whatever else have you for hours on end. You go to a dungeon somewhere, you use up your supplies, and then you go back to farm all over again to get supplies again, to go to another dungeon run. That's essentially how mobile games keep you, you know? They gotta keep you farming so you keep coming back for more. That's how it works out. But this over here actually has a store to accompany it, which I wasn't expecting some sort of like, you know, debt deception over here. Please don't. You Welsh on your promise? What the hell happened here? Damn it, the bloody fisted waste outside took advantage of me. What's the relationship between him and the real K? What does he intend to do? I guess I can't figure it out until I kill that butcher standing in my way. Oh no. Oh no. I do have to do it. There's a bunch of bandits with him too. I forgot about that too. Alright. It seems the fake K got the key and opened the door. Ugh. Alright. Um. We are hungry. Doggo? Or Pie Dog? Yo, this Pie Dog's had a lot of HP! Why are you a Pie Dog, dude? What the, what the hell is a Pie Dog? You, you sound a little bit delicious. You're also kind of freaking out. Are you barking and, and calling people to me? Stop doing that. Wow, oh, sorry, boy. I don't know what to tell you. You came at me aggressively, I would have let you gone by. But you came at me and we had to duke it out. And you kept on coming back for more, so... We got Zombos over here, too. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Zombos all over the place. Well, it does seem that before we have to deal with Mr. Butcher, we gotta go through this area first. So I guess before we rush home to, like, drop off supplies and get some goods, we should deal with this fake case scenario first. Okay. Your boy's got the strats for the infestors down. Alright, so where are you leading me to? Just make sure you're not walking into an ambush here. Other than the old infestos. Alright, and we gotta make sure that this weapon doesn't break. We gotta fix it beforehand, too. That's another incentive to go back home and um, drop stuff off. Make sure this weapon doesn't break on me. I have a car on fire. Got a door there. Come here, boy. Got me, boy. Got him. Z coins. All right. Anything of value in here? Canned food. So good. Faster. Huh. Two of you boys. Well, hopefully, the other boy doesn't trigger while I'm fighting this guy. Nah, he didn't trigger. There it is. Let's see if I can get behind you. Anything else over here? Oh, you know what? That's probably the door that leads to the butcher. 
Yeah, it's probably the way to get around them. Because outside where we came in from is probably like barricaded to it, to that side. So if we want to get to the butcher, we have to go through here. Well, before we get to the butcher, I need to go back and like dump stuff off. And also get some food. Get the regeneration happening. And also fix a couple of weapons here. So let's just get rid of you. So on the way back, don't have to deal with this nonsense. One more. Okay. Excellent. Chocolate bar, how about that? Alrighty, so uh, I went back, dropped some stuff off, picked up some stuff. I imagine this is a straight shot towards the butcher. So I got my Agentius, we actually have the extra, extra room now in the backpack to carry him too. I also went ahead and I equipped that crossbow that we got from the bosses. And I put the poison arrows on those. They have less range than the other bow by a little bit less, but they have like um, medium accuracy, whereas the regular bow has low accuracy. So I gave that one the, the poison arrows and we'll try to peg the butcher with it, I guess. I mean, we still have to get to him. I'm not even sure where I'm going right now, but um, I imagine this is going to be a straight shot towards the butcher. But before we get there, we got to make sure we take care of all the dudes along the way because we're going to fight that guy. I'm going to need the entire arena to run around because that guy looks huge. And something tells me just because he's huge does not mean he's slow. So if he's fast and huge, I'm going to be terrified. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, you, you missed, boy. You missed. Good crossbow shooter, huh? Great crossbow shooter you are. Oh, he keeps missing. Oh, he's got... No, no! No, that arrow's gonna... I'm gonna lose his arrow. Falcon, do something. I went to the... I went to the map. I don't think I shot... Oh, I, did I shoot it? Was I at 20 water 20 before? I'm not sure if I shot it or not. Whatever, it's a regular arrow. It's not a poison one. Alright, he's dead. Okay. Oh, he gave me plume arrows though. Perfect. Ah, ah, stop. Good shot, Falcon. That's what you get for making fun of their aim. Okay, is this it? Oh, I think this is it. Ah! Oh my god, it totally is it! Okay, he's a big dude. He's a big dude, for one. He's not too fast. Let's let's hit him with the poison. Now, do I'm not, I don't want to get hit by this boy. That much... Oh, that missed! So the poison doesn't stack. It just does the damage that it'll do normally from the arrow. And then it adds on the extra, I think, like 80 damage from the poison. Oh, he heals every single time to complete HP. So you know what? Um, we can't... Yeah, like I can't um, draw him out here. I gotta keep him on me the entire fight. All right. Well, lesson learned. Luckily, that's not too hard to dodge. Like, as long as you keep moving, he's not going to hit you with that. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, as long as you keep moving, that's not going to hit you. Don't you start healing, boy. Um, I think we have enough arrows to make this. You know the good thing about this? Toxic arrows, they're actually very easy to make. All you have to do is get a regular arrow. And then you kill those um, blast beetles. And you get the poison sack. And then you just put a... Ah, took a damage there. You get a poison sack and you combine it with the arrow it's very easy to make so i don't mind using up all of them on this butcher boy this is not a hard fight whatsoever i like this all right i was freaking out over nothing i just got intimidated by your size dude you're a big boy now do i dare get close to him to strike him uh not really i, I guess i could give it a try maybe he's about to die well the thing is that he actually swings really really quickly Like, you would have to do that. Got his ass down. Oh, thanks to our boy. Oh, we're about to lose the first crossbow. Well, it was already kind of broken when we found it, but still. It served its purpose. Who are you? Tell me the truth. I'm K. Still lying. If you keep testing me, you can join him. Oh, no. Okay, I'll tell you everything. I'm one of the petrol station employees. I worked for K. Why did you kill him? Oh, no, I never wanted to kill him. After the outbreak of that virus, the whole city is in chaos. Supplies have been looted right down to the last pin. It's hard to survive. I knew K had been operating his petrol station for over several years, so there must be something valuable in his house. I tied him up to force him to hand over the key of the safe box or something. Then I can take something to exchange for supplies to survive. But then a crowd of gangsters from Locust Gang broke in. I was so scared that I locked the room and jumped from the second floor with the key. And K was... So you... 
unintentionally killed him still, though, I mean. You, you're the reason why he was there and he died from dehydration and everything else, because you put him there. Of course, you weren't expecting the gang to be there and take over, you couldn't get him back out. But yeah, you still had a, you still had a big hand in killing the dude, my friend. Okay. That's manslaughter. So your arm wasn't hurt by those gangsters? No, he probably heard it when he jumped off the second floor like a coward. And you just said they welched under promise? What does that mean? I, I, to shut it, tell me. Well, let's get better acquainted, shall we? It's the truth that you locked the door of the petrol station because you're still concerned about the safe box. You may not get what you want if more people came. And just when you didn't know how to do, I showed up. So you plan to kill two birds with one stone. You asked me to kill those bandits for you by lying to me. When I got the key card, you tried to set me up again and place the guilt of killing bandits on me. I don't know what business you have with those bandits, but obviously, they had a change of heart. That's why you were tied up here. Is that true? Dude, d d don't kill me. I'll give you everything I've got. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, that's so much. Don't kill me, please. Kill you and get my hands dirty? Get out of my sight. I mean, you've killed plenty of people already. I don't think this guy's going to be really much of a big deal anymore, but hey. Thank you. Thanks, man. Don't you dare call me bro. I'm not your bro, you scum. Alas, that's how it always happens. And this will unlock the next area for us. Go to the village. Alright, boys. Well, we're going to wrap it up here. I'm going to go back. Put stuff away, see what new for there is for crafting. Maybe do a little bit of a loot run back in the forest area. And we'll come back next episode as long as you guys want to see some more. Onwards towards the village. I will catch you next time.